Oh, I'm the one who to hey, check my mail. Find some help. Mayor from what well, invitation oh, from no, the mayor? Well. Send some direction. <sighs> it ain't good. <sighs> hey, where's the train station? Going around in circles here. Okay, but that buy a ticket. No. Hey, hey. Let's see the other guy. Where am I going? Wait. I want to be. I'll get to you in a second. At the train station. Mm, okay. So. so right. That's very interesting. Not really. So let's go ahead and meet with the gang. I think. On base, so I'll meet you guys. Actually, we might be on. Yep, yeah, last episode was a very productive random episode of getting challenges done. We got like, what, five or six done, including four hunting challenges, one of the sharpshooters, and... I didn't record that I had to rob a stagecoach properly. I completely forgot about that until now. Well, let's go visit Dodge first before we do anything. I don't like doing random episode and then a random episode. I want to do a random story. You know what I mean? Okay, here we are. Thanks the coach, though. All right, where where is Dutch? Dutch is at camp, right? Those Leopold straws. Um. What else do I need? I don't think there's nothing. Um. Sharpshooter, we need to do, uh... Um, Gavin? Gavin? One of these times I'm gonna check out Gavin. Oh, yeah. Not this time. Yeah. Can I craft well on the horse? Go. If we get the camp, we'll craft a little bit. We definitely need to... Um, now, come on. um horsemen have killed seven people. We're talking about getting off, which is easy. Alright, so I guarantee we'll get to the What is a beta? Probably just a beta. Stay on horseback the whole time. Um, kill 10 people with specialized shotgun ammo, that's not the worst in the world. I know Herbal is way behind. Some animals. Do I have any left? Cause that. Oh, that was the other one. A stew with um, no meat is no stew on, at all, Mr. Morgan. Very good. We were getting low. <laughs> now this. I need another animal. Okay. Many thanks. Actually, this is how you get a good point. Come on, my turn now, please. Oh, well, no. I'm thinking about it. No Let's go see where Pulled Straws. Right, right. Then we'll do. Yeah, I changed my mind. We'll do Leopold first because two. Hey, Leopold's in the bank, man. Oh, to tell me to go get money. Back to him. Crazy stuff. Most importantly, he's on the water. I want to catch a fish real quick. No, this is not the same. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti. I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> the 
This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. They're a union built on that, you know. It, okay. Huh. Off before, why would he start now? Okay, so... One thing I do want to see... I want to see I catch a fish here. Oh, it's a river, isn't it? Oh, uh, he's a special lake, whatever, or like it doesn't matter. Trigger bait. I keep changing my mind. I want. Okay. Now, you're gonna see what I'm gonna do. It sounds kind of funny. Kind of is. Sorry, Martha Morgan now, just ca cough randomly. Oh, look, Sip. I guarantee, I mean, the point is the fish is gonna be small for a reason. My god. That's okay. It doesn't matter what it is, because you're coming with me. All I needed was a catch. Him. Sounds funny, but there the, the one such. I hate the fact that like ten set challenges. I have a hard time remembering which ones I need to do. The one that we've been randomly stuck on was. Uh, Give five fish to the butcher at camp, or five animals to the butcher at camp. Like, oh my gosh. Why did I not do that before? Come here, Arthur. No. Could really use some good meat for this stew. See? Good job. That's all you had to do. Level three is what? Yo, know, five ants. You... I don't like you. I really don't like them. Are you being good? Yo, Dutch is doing. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. Oh, what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, 
Come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I don't know. I've heard that before. And usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Grave. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational... Oh, please, craft shotgun ammo. Okay, follow me. All right, so we have to kill seven people on horseback without getting off. We have to kill five animals with a varmint rifle. Idiot. Don't even get me started oh. on that. We already done like 20 of them in the last episode, really. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. This move on Bronte. So let's go Carbon and good old fashioned. Have any. You have explosives. Is the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. <laughs> Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn... Faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, but, but... When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together or we're not there simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything i know you're right just feels like we're on borrowed time again i mean the old driscoll's found us yeah we need to move and soon haven't i made that clear i feel like i'm going in circles with all of you Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No. He'd say, let's go. I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. I know. I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything is wearing me down. The others, I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. I'm behind. Blackwater. Valentine. Rhodes. Sean. Kira. I promise. None of it will be in vain. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. I feel like the coming of age between these two. I mean, especially with uh, number five, the, the death mission. Thomas, 
It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. Look, if you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. I don't like that idea. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Yeah. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Birds everywhere. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Exes, that's kind of... Down in my suit wet. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. I don't want to... Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? Huge fish. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Duck, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why even in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peace. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folks sometimes. The night folk? Yeah, some strange Gator. people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Crayfish. Oh, crayfish. I thought they said catfish. Freaking love crayfish. Shouldn't be lingering here. Come on. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. It's gonna be better now. Swamp pockets, yum. Give me a hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. I see that gator.
Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? That's true. There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose this can wait. Let's go. There's always another gator here, isn't it? On. Hold up. Gator for day. My Gators. God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. I wish I had a weapon, just in case, but okay, game. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So ready for a gator to pop out. Hello. Jules. Okay, we found a lot again. The tree. In the tree. On the tree. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I. Oh, come on. Big okay. horror movie ready yeah. to happen. And, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? Stop! 
Got it loose. Go. Good man. All right. Let's get back to the dock. Yes, please. Let's go. Thomas, two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Now, boy, I think we hit a tree stone. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're going to need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. Budgels, I knew you will. must long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here. If the gun's loaded, you'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. 
And then basic first aid, what is the snake eater? He just pass out. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay. If he don't get a fever, we can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in here. Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Garlic? Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. A bad man. I don't know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. <sighs> well. Yes. Let's get. Okay, this is not where I expected to be, but while I'm here, okay, that sucks. Well, I was hoping to be back in that area because I think that's the legendary Gator. What? I want to hunt him. Been a while, boy. How much time do we have in this episode, boy? Go from there. That's Dr. Matt. Next time, I'm ready to